Well, welcome back everyone. Today we're playing Dead Secret. I don't know what this is. It looked kind of cool and it just came out and uh, it had the word dead in it and secret and I was like, that's for me. I'm going to play that. So, I don't know. It looked kind of, uh, I don't know. It looks like it has puzzles, I guess. It's kind of scary. I don't know. I think I like the fact that I don't know anything about it. So, let's get to it. Is that, oh, this is, oh. September 25th, Harris 1960. Bullard was found dead in his study five days ago. Nobody believes me, but I think he was murdered. This house Whoa. in the middle of nowhere holds the secret. There's a story hiding here, and I'm going to cover it. Oh, I'm a girl. If I'm right, there are four major suspects. Graham Wellington, Josie Herrera, mm -hmm. Cynthia Peckman, mm -hmm. Bobby Sawyer. Bob I'm Sawyer. I'm not until I find out what happened. But who are we? Did are we? We're not a suspect. Why do we care? Oh, what's? Is this a point and click? I think it is. What the? Okay. There's me. A small parcel tied tightly with twine. I can't open it with my bare hands. Oh gosh. You're supposed to read this? September 3rd. Uh, reclusive professor found dead in home. Okay, well that's... Okay. Harris Buford. Retired reclusive found dead in his study. Police ruled death natural. Okay, are we playing Clue here? Wait, Bob Sawyer. Ran errands for, for, is it Bullard or Buford? Big Buford? He found the body, okay. Josie Herrera. Uh, Bullard's? I hope I'm saying that right. Live assistant, okay, the L's, okay, Bullard's. Live assistant, or it's Buford's five assistant. Oh, living. Okay, I can't read. Cynthia Peckman, ex-wife. Inheritor to his estate. Look at her. She looks evil already. And Graham Wellington, former colleague of Bullard. Okay. It's probably the wife. It's always the wife. Old piano. It's blocking the way. Okay. This is it. The crime scene. Oh, yeah. Let's do that. Sure, this door leads to the room where Bullard's body was found, but it's locked. Okay, hold on, we're going here. Wait, this isn't the crime scene. I need to investigate. Oh, I need a key. Okay. Oh, gosh. I can't leave yet. There's a story here. I know it. Oh, it's in the drawer. There it is. Small key. Got it. Investigate the crime scene. Yes, got it. Uh, duh. Drawer, drawer is missing its knob. Oh, I'm looking for a knob. Okay. Well, let's go check this dead man. Okay, I don't think it's a natural death uh, pose. That looks like... He fell from way up high. The Snow Woman, adapted from the original translation by Lefkadio Le Le Hearn. The old man and his son climbed the mountain to collect firewood. It began to snow heavily and unable to make it back home. They decided to pass the night in a small hut. In the middle of the night, the young man woke to see that, all, that the door had blown open. A tall woman with long hair and a white kimono was leaning over his father, blowing her breath upon him. When she saw that the son was awake, she said, You are a handsome young man, and I will let you live. But if you ever speak of this to anyone, your life shall be forfeit. Whoops. How long is this? All right, I'll finish it. Wow, that's really loud. I'm turning that down. In the morning, the young man found his father frozen and dead. He climbed down the mountain alone and never spoke to the of the episode. A year later, he met married a young beautiful girl they had children together and were happy but the night of his father's death still weighed heavily on him as mine one night after having a bit too much to drink the man told his wife about this encounter with the snowman she was furious you promised not to tell 
She screamed, and before his eyes, she became the tall woman with long black hair and white kimono. For not for our children. I would end your life here and now. I will spare you for their sake. But if anything ever happens to them, you shall pay the price. And with that, she melted into the wind and was gone. That sounds like a campfire story. Is there a secret... Ah! Ha! Open sesame. I knew it! It's a small box. Let's get a better look on the desk. It's only September, but today is cold and dark. Fall is here, I guess. I guess. Alright, so it's missing a piece. One of the buttons is missing. I feel like we're already missing a button. One of the buttons. Can I move it around? Is this the button? It's a note with a foreign symbol on it. Underneath it reads north. Can I move it? Hey. Okay. Something's typed out here, but the paper is so far into the feeder that I can't pull it out. Okay, well, can I read it? Okay, well then, go close and read it! I can... That's dumb. Joe, something is after me. It's creeping around the house, trying to get in. I'm sure of it. I heard footsteps outside and cranking on the roof. Cranking? <laughs> creaking on the roof. It's not safe here. Uh, I've taken the ideal focal lenses from their normal location and hidden them in my study i've sent you a package that you'll know what to do with check the map for the mask as usual x marks the spot the sequence is west east north Ew. oh okay okay what's the foreign symbol say it's uh, okay it's like a upside down f's north east oh, i already forgot what do i have an inventory do I have an inventory? Hello? I forgot what I... North, east, west. Well, I'm missing the... Okay, well, you know. Uh... What's this? It looks like a tiny camera lens. Okay. What's this? It's another piece of paper. Harris Bullard. I am Woodcutter. Your past has caught up with you. It's over. Woodcutter. Okay. I don't know if his wife would put that. Threatening Bullard. Woodcutter. Okay. Circum... 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 Aviation of the globe. Panama Pacific... Oh, X marks the spot. I've never seen a map laid out like this. There's a spot marked with an X. Okay. Well, then, there's something here. Issue of the Journal of Physiology and a bunch of medical books with names I can't pronounce. A quantitative description of membrane current and its application to conduction and ed excitation in nerve by... Okay. Hmm. One of them appears to be missing. It's a clay statue with a weird face. It clearly... Just a regular lamp. So what is that? I can't... How come I can't move around? Okay, that is Japan, it looks like. Yeah, it looks like Japan. Close that. It says Japan... Okay, J these books are by the same author. It looks like one is missing. Okay, so it's got a flower on it. Another one with a flower. All right, well, let's... Ooh! Look what I found. There's a page from the manuscript here. The man who could see with his skin. Oh, that sounds great. In 1926, I met a man who could see with his skin. His eyes were sealed with wax and bandage, yet he remained aware of the room around him. We held up signs which read, 
which he read, and fingers which he counted, even when we stood behind him. After the performance, I gave him $200 for the secret. He explained that he could see as long as some part of his skin remained exposed to the air. He described it as a shift in wind or a slight breeze on his face, the subtle motion of his hair on his arm. After years of focus and practice, he developed the ability to form a mental image of his surroundings based only on these slight sensations. This man had achieved a form of ideofocus. Granted, he only had access to a very narrow range of sensory information, but the result was powerful. I immediately resolved to discover the secret of his ability. Now, almost four decades later, I am very close. Okay, so you want... So someone killed him because they want to see with their skin. And he was getting too close. Huh. Ooh, the, something about the faces. I saw something... The faces? It's a kind of... Kind of feels like they were looking at me. What did they see? I've seen this ma a mask like this before. Maybe they're Japanese. They look Japanese. It's weird looking. They make me uncomfortable. Okay, where's that book? Bullard had some pretty advanced degrees. This one is from the University of Chicago, 1935. Boy, I'd love to visit Chicago. One of Bullard's diplomas. TV? Doesn't turn on, it's broken. Okay. How about here? Got a book. It's another lens. I found two of them now. Cool. Record player. No record inside. It's a picture of a woman. She's wearing a white kimono and standing in the snow. Okay, that's the scary story. This room is a regular library. Some of these volumes look ancient. It's all covered in dust. Okay, cool. Okay. This is where the body Sawyer... Bobby Sawyer found Bullard's body. He'd been dead for a couple of days, though. Allegedly. I don't know if I believe Bobby. Maybe he was sleeping with the missus. What the hell? Oh, come on, game. That's cheap. Don't do that to me. Alright, well, I guess I'll try going through the door. I guess. Door's locked. There's no keyhole. Alright, now we play Escape the Room. 